All right, guys, this is Austin back with another video uh, from Down East Homes. We have a new home here in Beulahville, um, and I wanted to walk around the outside real quick. Sorry, we're just getting this thing set up, so we have not put the vinyl on the ends yet. Um, but just wanted to give you an idea of this home. It is called the Small Intimidator. Um, it is um, a three-bedroom, two-bath uh, modular and at a really good price. So stay uh, to the end for pricing. So uh, let's go back around front and go inside. All right, guys, so let's go take a look inside here. I love this front door. It adds a lot of character, especially since it's a modular, so we wanted to make sure we do it right. And guys, look, when you first walk in, we are still setting this up, so have not finished everything, um, but they did get some furniture in here, and I just wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys. So when you first walk in, you walk right into the kitchen, and it's a really good sized kitchen. You have space to put three or four bar stools on this huge island, and they did the upgraded cabinets. There is a couple of features that I really like. One is this built-in microwave, and then we also have drawers down here that is really nice as well. And this is first time I've seen this in one of our homes, and I'm sure it's a common feature, but this one actually has a Lazy Susan. And y'all leave that on comment down below <laughs> if y'all seen me film one of these before. I just don't remember it. We filmed too many videos, but we do have a Lazy Susan in this house, which I thought was really cool. I feel like that's a new feature that they have not done yet. <laughs> Excuse me. And we do have the uh, rounded edges on the Formica countertops. So it really kind of gives it that hard surface look. Look at that view. Imagine that being your backyard, guys. Fantastic. All right. Oh, one more thing in here. We do have these two massive um, drawers right here that are for pots and pans. So you do have a ton of space there. All right, over there, guys, is your dining room. And this is standing in the kitchen looking back into the living room. All right, so let's go take out this utility room. It is right off the back door, so you do not have to worry about tracking the rest of your house. And it's also in this area right here, and you also have a really deep sink, cabinets above the washer and dryer. You have extra storage space in there, and I'll open that in a second, and a space for a freezer. Let's take a look. Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. That is where your furnace goes. So if we come back through here, this is where the extra space is. Sorry guys, I got the um, spaces mixed up. You do actually have a pantry in this house, kind of tucked away from everybody else's view. And like I said, here is the living room. This actually is a really good sized living room. It crosses over the marriage line, as you can see there, into the other half of the house. So you actually have space to put a nice TV. You have space to, you know, add a couple more chairs. Um, it really feels like a home in here. It's a two by four construction throughout. We also have our, here, let's focus on that for a second. I'll get to the master, which is right there in just a second. But every one of these houses comes with an Ecobee thermostat. That means that it is controlled by your smartphone. So you can control it. Um, days like today, you forget to turn it down before you leave or whatever or turn it up before you leave so your power bill's not really high, or turn it down right before you get home so it's a little cooler when you walk in the door, <laughs> that's perfect. So right here, we do have a dining room, which is right across from the kitchen. And guys, you notice it does have carpet, and the dining room does not have carpet, we did do that. So you could do the vinyl, score, uh, vinyl flooring throughout if you wanted to on this home to kind of blend it together. Now let's go take a, le a look at these two bathrooms and a bedroom down here. I'm sorry, two bedrooms and a bathroom, not two bathrooms and a bedroom. Now guys, this is a really good size room for this size house. This house is probably about 1,900 square feet. So they used it really wisely. Good size room, a lot of natural light coming in from these windows, double pane windows for, you know, um, energy efficiency and, you know, just to keep the house cooler. Nice size walk-in closet. Now let's go take a look at that third bedroom. 
Actually, on the way, let's stop in the bathroom. So, right here we do have a, um, this is the, I'm gonna turn up the brightness here for a second. All right, so you do have a one piece fiberglass shower and tub combo. Uh, and you also have a really good porcelain sink there with, it is a square, um, square one. We've upgraded that one in this video. Sorry guys, um, it is very, very hot in here. <laughs> I'm kind of getting, getting out of the, out of the talking. So uh, guys, again, another big window in this home. And we also have a really good size closet in here. So walking back towards the other end of the home, let's go take a look at the master. All right, guys, so we are in the master. Just wanted to peek into that massive master closet. Again, we're still kind of putting this thing together, so there's still a lot of construction material left over, but we are gonna get that fixed. So look at in here, a lot of natural light coming in from these windows, as you can see. I've got to turn this down a little bit. It got kind of bright. Um, so we do have a good amount of space in here. You could easily fit a king bed and two chest of drawers in here very, very easily. And guys, look at this beautiful master bathroom. We do have the dual vanity sinks here with the beautiful uh, uh, white cabinets. And they kind of go all the way down. And they actually have some storage underneath. And then we also have some storage above there for any kind of products you like, or just decoration would be fine too. And then we have this beautiful walk-in shower uh, with the massive Amazon right here and that beautiful transom window right above it. So guys, um, let's go back into the kitchen. Oh, and right here, kind of tucked away, is the toilet. So let's go back into the kitchen and talk about the final details of this home. <clears throat> Walking back into the living room, we do have at the dining room and that beautiful front door again i really really do like the oval shape on it they did a really good job the guys in beautiful did a really fantastic job of picking out all the colors in this home it looks fantastic so guys again excuse me uh this is a three bedroom two bath uh cavalier home in our beautiful location um you will see our web address link below you can contact us on that web address uh, if you want more information about that home um, so make sure you click on that and it will take you uh, to a, a contact information or contact form so you can find out more information specifically about that home now guys i'm going to start doing this on every end of our video um, this is going to be our service area that we service so i'm going to plop in a picture right here of the area we service in eastern north carolina That was our service area. I'm also gonna plop in a floor plan of this home right now.